is Christine at cricutscreativecorner.com and I am going to do this cute little card using our waterfront stamp set. Super cute. I actually won this for participating in a challenge on our Facebook page with our group. So my upline sent me this and uh, actually it's kind of funny because I would have never ordered this stamp set probably, but since I've used it, I love it. So I'm learning a lot about what I like and what I don't like as time goes on. So we're gonna use that stamp set. We're also using the uh, Pool Party cardstock. And I'm using the, okay, I'm using the uh, Pool Party ribbon. I was trying to make sure that was the color that um, of the ribbon. And this is, let's see, I cannot remember. It's right here, I'll tell, oh, no it's not. Hang on just a second. This one is called the um, Classic Weave Ribbon, and it is Crumb Cake. So we're using that one. And then, uh, of course, our Whisper White cardstock. I've got a couple of sizes here. I've got the smaller one. It's four by three. And this one is five by three and three quarters. And then our pool party cardstock here as well. This one is a four by five and a half. Oh, five and a quarter, sorry. And then our crumb cake paper. This one is actually a, a whole sheet cut in half. It's a cardstock that comes in eight and a half by eleven. It's crumb cake. And I've got it cut in half at five cut in, in half at five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with that, I think. Um, Let's go ahead and get this one done. So we're gonna be using our uh, soft suede ink pad. Let me go ahead, oh, oh don't wanna drop it everywhere. So what I'm gonna do, let me get all this ink off of me. <laughs> I haven't quite mastered how to open these uh, stamps, ink pads yet. Okay, so you can see the, um, the score line right there. So I'm just gonna kinda of do that just a little bit so I can kinda of see where it's at. I'm going to get the um, little background stamp. It's right here on the uh, in the stamp. And just kind of dab it on there, stamp off, and just kind of go along the edges of my cardstock. And I can't remember if I told you the name of it. It's a Crumb Cake Cardstock. And just kind of do this super quick. Doesn't, doesn't matter if it you know, goes over the other one that I stamped. Um, I'm just kind of turning it around a little bit, try not to go over the score line. And this design, oops, I didn't do a uh, uh, stamp off there. <laughs> this design, I actually have made it my own in a way, but I did get the idea from um, either Pinterest or somewhere online. I, I really don't remember um, where I got it from, but whoever came up with this design, I guess you could say, pretty cool. I love it. So anyway, I keep, <laughs> I keep going, not, I keep forgetting to go off. There we go. We just, we don't really need, well, let me go ahead and do the rest of it. Mine as well. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool that there's some dark and some not. So there we go. All right, done. So I'm done with that. And then, so we're gonna just go ahead and put this to the side because I don't need that right now. I'm gonna put this away. Actually, I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna put it up here so I can refer to it later. So now we're gonna get the smaller Whisper White cardstock. I forgot what it was, three by three, or by four, three by four. And I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping our design. So we're gonna use the little cloud right here, or mountain, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna get the uh, Pool Party ink. And we're gonna do a lot of stamping off on this. So you're gonna just ink it up, stamp off, and then stamp on. Whoops, right there. And then we're gonna get the larger little mountain. Let me find it, here it is, right here. We're gonna stamp on the ink, stamp off, and then we're gonna put it down here at the bottom half. Not too far away okay and then the next one we're gonna stamp on full strength 
and I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, so that's all we need on that one. And then I'm gonna get the little zigzaggy kind of um, stamp, and we're gonna use the um, Calypso Coral. Put this one away. So we're gonna stamp on, and then stamp off, and then stamp on, <laughs> right there. And then I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna get this other, the small, whoops, that's not it, the smaller one, let me find it. Hang on, where did it go? Uh, it's not that one. I'm gonna use this one anyway. So, let's see. Let me go ahead and clean this off super quick. Okay, and I'm gonna be getting my yellow this let's see we're gonna use this yellow one right here this is daffodil delight and again we're gonna stamp on the ink stamp off and then I'm gonna turn this one around so it doesn't look quite the same I'm gonna put it over here okay I'm gonna do another one stamp off so I'm gonna put it about right in there and then maybe one more let's do one more to fill in some of that right there okay all right so we got that and then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my crumb cake ribbon let me get it out over here and uh, we're going to put it down here just like that and I'm going to go ahead and get some adhesive and put it where I want that ribbon to go just like that and we're going to flip it over and double check that's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, and then we're gonna get, oops, sorry, do some more stamping. I'm gonna get my crumb, uh, soft suede, and we're gonna get the palm tree um, trunks. We're gonna put it right here. I'm gonna kind of tilt, well, I don't wanna tilt it too much. Right there, okay. And then we're gonna get, let's see, I'm gonna get the garden green stamp pad I'm gonna get my little palm trees and we're gonna put it on this side and we're gonna carefully put it in there and put them over the tree uh, trunks I guess you'd say <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and do another set just because I think it's super cute we had someone in one of my classes do make this card and she put the tree branches way too high but she just filled it in with more palm trees and I thought it looked so cute so way to go Jessica you know who you are <laughs> so I put that away and then we're gonna get our Pacific Point ink pad and we're gonna find the little house right here the bee house super cute and I'm gonna put it right here right let me make sure that looks okay that's not too bad right here underneath the palm trees let me see if I can get kind of close so I can see make sure I'm not gonna get on my ribbon <laughs> okay and then one more stamp we're gonna use the mango melody and we're gonna use the Sun for that and just put it in the background super cute right in here Perfect, there we go. All of that's done. And then, put this away. All right, let me put it somewhere where it won't get in the way. All right, so now we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and bring back, oops, this is sticking. We're gonna bring back our crumb cake card base. And I'm gonna take a little bit of adhesive, or you could use a glue dot. I'm just gonna make it super quick and easy. And just get some adhesive. I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle right here, and then I'm gonna get my scissors because this is a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna cut these ends off right about there and right there. Okay, and then move those to the side. And then we're gonna take oops, our design that we already stamped on. I keep moving the the camera. Sorry. Put these on right here. Put about five of them on there. Okay, with our stamping dimensionals. 
And I'm going to put these, this picture on top. Get this all off. There we go. All right. That's so cute. Okay. And then we're going to put it right in the middle. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the inside of it. And we're going to put our pool party cardstock in there. Okay, I'm going to put it in there and leave like a quarter of an inch on either side. Just like that. And then we're going to take, we're going to do a little bit more stamping. I keep forgetting about this. So we're going to take this piece right here. This one is eight and a half, I believe. It's eight by like one inch, one and a quarter inch. All right, we're going to take um, this little saying right here, and we're going to get our pool party stamp ink, and then we're going to, this one says, friends make the good times better. So I'm going to put it right about in here, just right in the middle, just like that. All right, okay, I'm going to bring in my banner punch, and we're going to punch the end of it, just like this. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to, this is basically a fun fold card. Um, I'm going to kind of fold that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it kind of where I want it. Just about right in there. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it over the card side as straight as I can. <laughs> okay, so then what I could do is I'm going to adhere uh, some adhesive on here okay I'm gonna get that ready and then we're going to take our insert this one is the whisper white it's at um, three and three quarters by five inches so I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the back of that one and we're gonna open this and I'm gonna kind of figure out how to do this we're gonna put this down first right here where we want it and then I'm going to open this, just like that, okay? So I flip this other piece to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to make sure it's not, it's going to be too long. So let me cut some of this off. It doesn't have to be quite that long. Okay, now what we're going to do is put it where we want it. I want it to be right about here. Let me make sure it's not too long still. And I'm going to just fold it over and adhere that to the inside, okay? All right, so there's that piece. And then we're going to take this Whisper White and put it right over the top of it, just like this. So now you have a cute little fun fold card, just like that. So now, put that to the side, and I'm going to get an extra piece of cardstock. And we're going to um, stamp the house on there again let me find my blue specific point let's see i think this is it and we're going to stamp the house right here perfect and then we're going to take my scissors and i'm going to go ahead and basically cut the house out and it won't take too long i don't think it's a pretty simple house don't you just love my little blister pinch thing on my finger. I pinched my finger on some um, like a screwdriver or some pliers actually. <laughs> and uh, that didn't feel too good. So I have a funny looking, really strange looking <laughs> little thing on my finger. It's kind of weird looking. Okay, so we got that cut out. Move that to the side. And I'm going to take a mini dimensional. Let me get my dimensionals out right here mini dimensional and put it on the back of the little house just like this kind of hard to see because it's white on white <laughs> okay so we got the back of that off and so in order for this to help keep this closed right here I'm just gonna put my little house down there so that it'll help keep it closed so I just want to make sure that my dimensional does not stick to anything so there you go isn't that so cute so now you have this holding this down 
and you open it up and look at there. So cute. So another thing that you could do, let me go ahead and get my bone folder so it'll stay down really crisp here. Let me open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and make that real nice and neat right there so it, it'll fold properly. Okay, there we go, just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do real quick to finish this off is we're gonna go ahead and get the palm trees again because I think those are so adorable. We're gonna get it on here take the sun off of that because we don't need that anymore. Let me get my brown, my soft suede, and we're going to put the palm trees right here at the bottom of this. And then we're going to get the, oops, let me get the garden green open again because I closed it. There we go. And we're going to put our palm trees on the top of that, but we're just going to do one set for this one. All right, right here. Perfect. So adorable. Now you can write a little message in here. Super cute. And there's your cute little fun fold card. I love it. All right, y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.